Yeah, see, like, you know already. You know what you're getting into. It gives you a cold open as classic Sonic. Uh, this stage is not exactly the usual green hill. Well, that's where we are. We're on South Island right now. <laughs> oh boy, let me see a bit of that. I'm not the biggest fan of how Classic Sonic feels in this. It's fine mostly, but... You know. Uh, my biggest issue, probably far and wide, is that... If you roll, if you spin dash, but like, if you try and roll as well to pick up speed down a hill, well that's not really how it works in this, and you will automatically unroll into running. <laughs> Did not even like... I, didn't, I don't think I even replayed this stage. Now, the thing about the 3DS version, right off the bat, you would notice, because that doesn't- actually, I don't think that cold opens. No, it does. It does cold open as well, with Green Hill Act 1, before getting to the story. The thing about that is that Act Green Hill Act 1 is just a 3D remake of the original Green Hill Act 1. <laughs> Why is that so loud? That's three times louder than the rest of the game. He'll be here any second. Hey guys, what's going on? You having a party or something? Surprise! Surprise! Even Blaze is here. to surprise you. You totally got me this time. I had no idea. Yeah, right. Happy birthday, Sonic. Hope you like this. Like it? I love it! Uh, the biggest issue is because I'm playing this in a fashion that it's not supposed to be able to. It's windowed for me right now because I hate full screen and I have to use an external program to force it into that. It will pause every time I click away to adjust something. Uh, where am I? And now the fucking audio hey. is back to normal. Quiet, even. We find ourselves in the white space.
So the weird, the fun thing about the uh, DDS one, again, uh, the, much like this, Green Hill's a different stage. Narratively speaking, uh, Sonic doesn't get a surprise party. He gets there before everyone else. I think that's how they avoided, like, uh, putting so many models in the way they do cutscenes. The controls for this are, they meet back towards how Unleashed started things with a lot of stuff. It's not as simplified as colors, but in ways that I think are good. You can always sidestep, you can always drift, you can always miss your jumps, because inputs get even, even worse than in Unleashed. And you don't have a double jump, but you can use your homing attack at any point. Which I do prefer. It's a little jarring to go back to at first. Uh, it's not the controls overall that really throw me off with this game. Also, the trick system is different. Uh, you press... Uh, four different directions for four different tricks. And you finish by hitting left, the left and right bumper. No, going through this game as a whole, it is classic Sonic and general stage design that has me not having the best of times. Like, coming back to this game, the novelty of it has sort of worn off. Thanks, Sonic. I thought I was dead, floating without a body in a black limbo. <sighs> I'm going to have nightmares for weeks. Just properly. Is it open me, or is that place we were just in awfully familiar? Mm, not to me, but this place looks like something sucked all the life and color out of it. Totally strange. Well, no stranger than rescuing genies in magic books or saving aliens in an interstellar amusement park. I'm more concerned about finding our friends. Hey, Sonic, I saw something over there in the distance. Like buildings, but they look weird. That might be a good place to check out. I'll be back soon. Wow, you weren't kidding when you said soon. I thought you already left. Hmm. I guess they can barely recognize Green Hill with the <laughs> life sucked out of it. be a awful, awful nightmare of adjusting the audio. So, you can switch between classic and modern now, on the fly. Yeah, yeah. And our next stage is Chemical Plant. Uh, in the DS version, the Sonic 2 stage, yeah, well, Let's be clear about this. The stages that you go to, you get one per game that's featured. And this is Sonic 2. In the 3DS version, it's Casino Night Zone. Uh, and again, for, for all of three of the classic games that they feature, the Act 1 is just, like, directly from the original. Just created in 3D, while in the PC version, you get a brand new stage. Uh, not unlike the way that Sonic Mania treats things, but... 
mostly just different design, no new features. Sonic's design in general in this, it's... They made at least one weird choice, that is to make his Sonic's eyelids not blue. They're the color of his muzzle instead. Uh, he's also chibi as hell. He's like disproportionately small in this. His coloring isn't that off, though. It's less of a deep blue, but it is still close to that classic, uh, violet blue, ultramarine. Missed it. If we went to the left side, there's actually a quicker shortcut, and it is near impossible to get, because we still have issues with death perception in this game. I am also very tired of Chemical Planet at this point. Like, it's, it's cool that... That was that was some fun layering mix up. Didn't matter in the end. Yeah, um, they start the... What are the rings doing? Why are they attached to the ball? They're as annoying as they were in colors. Uh, they start the story off... ...where Classic and Modern Sonic have not crossed paths yet. So they can make some gimmick some some funny little jokes about Tails not recognizing it's a different Sonic and stuff like that. Good. As good as we can be. <laughs> don't have the colors underwater mechanics. For better or worse, water is not nearly so prominent in this outside of something that you run across. Drifting, they do actually bring back uh, something from Unleashed Wii that I mentioned was really cool, but was not in any of the games we played. And that is. Got it. it doesn't matter. Uh, Sonic goes into a ball form when drifting.
They also play up this little thing like they don't recognize stuff from South Island and West Side Island. <laughs> As if they haven't been there in so long. Which is something they're gonna completely like go back on in a couple games. You saved me, Sonic. I was afraid I'd never be able to flirt with you again. Hmm. Wonderful. I'm so psyched to hang out with you, Sonic. Come talk to me anytime. Yeah. So much like Tails in Green Hill, you get a different character saved per stage. You get slightly different uh, dialogue if you are classic Sonic. You can imagine who would be the person you saved for Sonic 3 in Sky Sanctuary. I think this is a, a level that really starts to show how they try to mix in different mechanics from the games that the stages are from. Uh, I mean, aside from just like, there's new modern mechanics. Like, the aesthetic of Sky Sanctuary here is not quite like it was at all in the original. It's way more jungly much like the base of Angel Island. Uh, there's weird little tops in the classic version of the stone of the stage that is there, much like the ones found in Marble Garden. Okay, sir. Ma'am. Structure. Uh, no levels more apparent to me about that than the Unleashed level. About the whole different mechanics from multiple stages. They try to play it up a little so that that makes sense too. Uh, in the 3DS version, the Sonic 3 stage is Mushroom Hill instead. Uh, I understand why they didn't, but it's always going to be a missed opportunity to me that they didn't choose Ice Cap for the Sonic 3 or the Sonic Adventures to each. Actually, I don't understand why they didn't for Adventure. Which I can talk about when we get to Adventure. It's fine. I want the bad one on the way. these egg robots and get unique enemies per stage. They tend to be specific to the game in the way that they're unique, but this actually just mimics how Sky Sanctuary only had egg robots flying around. Graphical goodness right there. Cameras, stuff like this, that's awful. Am I in the right direction? I'm not. That's good. So, honestly, I don't think there is a boost Sonic game where I have encountered more weird quirks to their... to how things work than this one. 
Heck, I have photo evidence of... In the 2D segment of Sky Sanctuary... Dipping in the 3D physics. And basically I just blast it off of nothing. And the stage wouldn't load itself. <laughs> I was just on invisible stuff. stuff to say until we get our next cutscene. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna be honest, I wasn't like too invested in like this game in general after I revisited it. Like I initially intended to like go back and be good at the practice to be good at the stages like I used to be. But honestly, it's just like, however long this is going to take, it's going to take. We'll, we'll just run with it. Unintended. I really have to do this 2.5D thing here. Which, uh, becomes annoying in later stages, honestly. We go to different... Uh, planes drop the stage. So that if you tried to like do some quick jump skip, then you will just fly into the oblivion. Item box physics is kind of weird. There's these parrots? They're just parrots. There weren't parrots. This guy's sanctuary, I don't think. These are the most realistic looking parrots. See if we can get a good example here. Grapes! There's grape trees here. That's Knuckles' favorite. Thanks, Sonic. You did a good job back there. Hey, did you gain weight? But classic Sonic's smaller. Wouldn't... Sonic! Thanks for the assistance, Sonic. I hope everyone else is alright, too. So you can't just go stage to stage to stage. There's a special little thing you do before the boss of each time. Of each segment. We do have a boss upcoming. I'll give you a hint. Sky Sanctuary is appropriate uh, with the approach to the death egg. But it's not the one I would have liked, personally. Yeah, there's different themes for this is what I was thinking. There we are. You have to do at least one of these special trials per Ooh, wait. That's not working for this one. That was cool. <laughs> I mean, it was almost actually cool. I don't see. That's an. That's, there's an instinct happening for me to want to do that. I 
guess I'll just go slow. Okay, just don't grab back onto it. Just don't grab back onto any of them. This game is not broken at all. Fully functioning. I definitely didn't make myself land like that. So I guess we have to go forward. Like, that's, that's a level of, like, difference in the plane that you're on that I've never actually experienced before. Listen to the classic Sonic's jump sound effect. It's the same one from Sonic CD. This is where we're going to start scrutinizing the details. Um, mostly to spite the way that they handle things with this narrative. His jump sounds like he's from Sonic CD, and clearly that means... This is the Sonic is closest to when Sonic CD happened. Oh look, here's a little extra proof for that. Face B if you wish to have the Chaos Emerald. So three of the Chaos Emeralds we get in this are from rival battles. Doesn't matter where Metal is in the timeline, we can just go back to start a speedway for it, huh? This is our Sonic CD representation. I also noticed that Metal Sonic is chibi as hell, as well. <laughs> so he definitely hasn't been, I don't know, if we're gonna have to take this as literal as possible, then I'm going to say that means this is before he got an upgrade in Sonic 4. Also, it's an actual battle, unlike the race in... Um... Don't do that. The race in Sonic CD. Uh, that's not. Does not also go for the um, rival battles in the 3DS version. That had a lot of consequences. Uh, they are races. It's Sonic Rivals in the 3DS version. Take it. You sure did explode there. I sure hope that didn't come in over the mic. Knuckles didn't say something I thought he was gonna say. The ones where other characters are involved is cute, sometimes. You get stuff like this. Uh, most of the ones involving Classic Sonic are actually competitive. Tails being on your side is like the one situation where it's not. Incidentally, the modern Sonic one with Tails I'm gonna play in a little bit. Is competitive. Oh, this is slightly spoilers, I think. We didn't establish that classic tales is here too. Park. 
play with Sonic 3 music. Also, Tails' this flight is infinite, so that's fun. Like, you can't change your momentum with Tails. I, I don't know why I'm trying. I neglected to get the key on the other side. I don't think he's going to say it. There is a line, I think if you, because if you clear all of the, these challenges here, you get different dialogue from the, oh, I should have done the thing. I'm going to do it. Oh, actually, this is one I don't want to. Anyway, I lied. Uh, the Go Torn Tornado Go is still here. And we were racing tails in it. I completely forgot the go tornado. The tornado. Calling it go tornado. But the tornado go was still around for this game. Which, if I forgot this, then clearly that means there's a different existence of the tornado coming up next time. Can I do the thing on this one? I'm trying to break the bridge. Cash Cash remix of Supersonic Racing. I think it could be Circuit 3. I don't know, it's on the same today. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. You're faster than me, Sonic. Even in the plane. So all the boss keys will go to the boss. There's also a Casino Knight pinball thing here. I started saying that Knuckles gets different dialogue if you clear the thing, but now's not the time to talk about that, I guess. So I'll, I'll pick that up in the next stage. Take her away from Twinkle's heart?
Take a good look at yourself, Sonic. Dr. Eggman? It's the last look you'll get before I close your eyes forever. <laughs> Another Sonic? What? Wait a second! Gotta be quicker than that, Sonic. To catch up with Sonic? Hmm. The last time we saw Eggman, remember, he was blasted into somewhere who knows where in space. Uh, this boss sucks. And not in the same way that um, the regular Death Egg Robo sucks. This part is a little more interesting. Wish there was a little less waiting, but you know, the original one's all about waiting. It's just we found ways to bypass that thing. Now for the part that sucks because it's so finicky. Hopefully. Hey, it worked properly for once. When I replayed this a little bit ago, it kept, like, the arm just kept swinging out of nowhere as soon as you, it hit the bomb. It would just immediately whiplash back to it. In the 3DS version, you get to fight the big arms, which is fantastic, but also it takes like 15 seconds and the song's like five minutes or three minutes long. What is this thing? Also, that didn't blast my ears out, so that's good. The last two cutscenes with it did. All right, well, Classic Tales just shows up in this. I can't believe there's two of me. I think I figured it out. Yeah, me too. Doubles of us? Places and enemies from our past? We're traveling, traveling through, through time, time and space. space! How did this happen? I think it's got something to do with that big thing that just kidnapped Eggman. It sounds like the same thing that kidnapped your friends. Uh, I mean, our friends. You know what I mean. We move on to the GameCube era. Okay, order of topics. Uh, also, you get a cast symbol from each boss. Uh, I think there is a cutscene in the 3DS version where Tails shows up. Um, when this Sonic is from, to make the most sense of it, 
would be from around Sonic CD, uh, given the Metal Sonic battle it would have to be after Sonic CD. This is, of course, speaking with the continuity we established, where CD happens after Three and Knuckles and after Knuckles Chaotix. Uh, so Sonic should recognize the rest of the Chaotix. Not that it matters, they don't put that much thought into the characters recognizing each other. Uh, because Sonic has this little gimmick going on where he doesn't... Classic Sonic doesn't speak. Uh, which is a very strange idea, if you ask me, because, frankly, he spoke in at least one game in the classics and CD. So it's not like him being silent is a reference to anything. Uh, they did actually have plans to get, like, a very classic voice actor for him, like Julio White, who did the, um... The cartoon voice for him back in the day. Uh, so it also puts modern Sonic into a weird position where sometimes he's just not speaking in cutscenes either, <laughs> just to match that up in the cutscenes where it could be either or. Anyway, we're in Speed Highway. In the 3DS version, it's Emerald Coast. I can approve Emerald Coast, but, like, honestly, there are maybe too many cities between these two games that we're going back to. And the next Sonic Adventure 2 level is going to be City Escape. Understandably, I wouldn't change that for the world. I understand why they would do Speed Highway, because that's everyone's favorite from the Sonic story, and, it, and honestly, it's one of the best modern Sonic stages they've created. Uh, I would still, in the SA2 3DS level is, it's Radical Highway, which does not make any sense. That's a shadow stage. So probably that should be changed. Uh, but I would also really have liked... Ice Cap Zone, <laughs> because I feel like there's so much potential with that. And they don't have to worry about uh, music licensing issues for the, for the uh, Sonic Adventure version. The mechanic I severely hate in this is that he only time you can use the light speed dash is when rings are highlighted like that. You can't use it any other parts of the stage, even though there are parts where it would make it fun to do it. Just another thing unleashed has it better the first time. Okay, so. The thing I kept trying to say, Knuckles gets different dialogue when we finish all of the missions. I don't remember most people's dialogue, but I remember his specifically because he says, It's very nice to have my sanctuary back. Which is a strangely specific thing to say about Sky Sanctuary. It makes me recall that. I'm pretty sure Sky Sanctuary had entirely crumbled by the end of his story in Sonic 3. There was no more Sky Sanctuary, it has never reappeared with any reappearance of Angel Island? So what I'm gonna say is, the actions of this game undid that crumbling and restored Sky Sanctuary in the continuity. <laughs> I can't think of any, like, other places to really, like, say this is another consequence of this game in the same way. But there's a reason I say this, because, uh, and we'll see in a 
in two games as far as mainstreams go. I might throw a bonus one in there. Like, they play it up in that game to be a throwback to the classics. Like, ooh, we're being fun and referency. But there are consequences to your actions, Sonic Team. And that's basically what this has been all about. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Cream being associated with the adventure stage. Um, where are we? I told Mom I'd be right back when I left. It's okay. Time doesn't work that way here. You don't have to worry. Being with the adventure level, referencing to how she was added in DX, and how advanced games take place around the same time. Advanced 1 and 2, at least. Uh, yeah. like the first stage that really has the same essence as like the wide open areas that Unleashed has for us. Finish that thought. This is an extended version of an extended remix of City Escape. And hopefully, we don't do it too quickly. I also like how these gun mechs look in this one compared to the normally. It was blocky. Yeah, we didn't get to the extended part before the gun truck back and more angry than ever. Christ, how was I supposed to know that was coming? I missed the red ring, too. Sideways buildings were on, with street between them. Where did they get the funding for this? I don't even remember if I finished any of those thoughts. It's whatever. I think one of the reasons that uh, Radical Highway being the 3DS one is so weird to me, and like unforgivably, is that the music kind of sucks. <laughs> the remix for the modern version. It's just jarringly experimental, I guess is a way to put it.
Also, this version of City Escape is fantastic as well. You know how I like Sonic 3 and Endless Mind, you'll hear it. Skateboard. <laughs> I'm extremely disappointed right now. These ramps only really matter for the skateboard. sense in a level design fashion. I don't know why it didn't let me get there. Ah, why? Way through the stages in an hour? This ain't taken two Thanks, streams. The thing that snatched me was like nothing I've ever seen before. Watch out. Come to think of it, you're nothing like the Sonic I've seen before. Hmm. Stay sharp. Still have no idea who it is that even brought us here. I don't like this stage. <laughs> like, I'm gonna restart and take it slow. So I don't have to do that part. Here we are to Sonic Heroes, though. Alright. This is... Movement is so weird underwater. Actually, there are skills at the shop I should go check out. <laughs> I don't know why you went that direction. That's another weird thing about this. You can't just go left and right. You're, um... Okay, there's no crushing in this. There's that. You do flatten. Uh, what was I saying? So weird. Uh, Classic Sonic still exists in 3D, so, like, it would theoretically be possible to, like, change the perspective of these stages to 3D and just have Classic Sonic move as modern Sonic would. And the issue with that is that when you turn around, you can be facing forward or backwards instead of left or right. Uh, so your spin dash can just be garbage as a result. Uh, 
put a hero's level in. Where is a hero's level in? Maybe a sprite? It'd be really weird if there wasn't. No, there isn't. Uh, there's so much Heroes reference throughout all of the 3DS versions. Like, the menu music is from Heroes, the special stages are revamped versions of Sonic Heroes ones. Not are you even revamped, it's just they're the speed segments of them, which are the best parts of them. And it actually functions now, so... They're good special stages. They might be the best part of it, with... 3DS generally having about the same level of jank as this does. Just in like a different way. Ooh. Hey girl. Anybody order a Sonic 1 spike glitch? When was the last time we experienced that? It was in Advance 3. Boy Kingdom. Okay, fantastic spin dash there, buddy. Uh, so yeah, the Sonic Heroes stage in 3DS would probably then be a the special stages. Uh, you only there are nine stages in this. There are seven in 3DS, so that's why that's a thing. After Adventure One and Two. Your boss you fight after that is, again, weirdly, the Bio Lizard. Um, the third boss is actually the Egg Emperor from Heroes. It's a fantastic version of the Egg Emperor. The Bio Lizard battle kinda sucks. <laughs> you may remember me having some distress about fighting it in Adventure 2. That's because of the distress I had fighting it in 3DS. No, I don't want to see that. I've been using wall jumps already. Have I? At least twice. I missed one of them. Arguably, you're not just doing Seaside Hill here with Sonic. You're also doing, um... Ocean Palace? Well, that's because Seaside Hill and Ocean Palace are actually one map two of each other. We established that back in the game. Was... Oh, I, I forgot to mention that the benefit of the tricks. Complete, getting plenty of them and then completing them can get you extra boost. Oh boy. That was... At least there was a checkpoint there. This part reminds me of Lost Jungle. Or Frog Forest. Yeah, whichever. Okay. Singular go karting. I don't even know if the boost is doing anything. I assume it is. That was a time area. Huh? Oh. 
little rough canyon area. First chaotics out here. We also saved the Orca, which is very important. So I think we've pieced together more of what's happening, and it's not good. Whoa. When the Sonics accelerate through time, they fix space, returning color and life. All right, sure, why not? That. Well, then I guess we have to run sure. like there's no tomorrow, or there <laughs> won't be a tomorrow. I have, I have. No, no, nothing that can disprove that theory. <laughs> as silly as it sounds. Huh. It takes a mighty foe to trap a ninja. Be on your guard, Sonic. I never noticed that Espio's hmm. back spines are black now. Be wary, Sonic. I sense a great darkness in that enemy. Uh, back in Chaotix, they were green. And I thought they just made them purple now. Like, Espio can be whatever color he wants, but like to make his spikes black now is like... I wonder if he's covering them up, like, ninja-wise. Okay, some abilities to make life a little easier. I don't even know what this currency is. I think you can just afford all of this. Chow's little, Omo Chow's little shop even has puppets that Lentos had. Is that a fast travel? Oh right, you're, you're right. I have to equip the skills. I'm gonna use them. Okay, I backed out. This isn't... As much as this feels like secret rings, it is not. If you just back out, it doesn't save it. There are multiple buttons you can press. Confirm. Change to classic. I just undid it again. See, it's that bad. I'm that bad at it. Now hold on. Alright, whatever. You can only equip skills at the main stage. That's weird. Ciao, race. Just like in Sonic Rivals, with the flare of Route 99 from... What do you call it? Advance 3. The tricky part for this I actually found is not just getting the Chow, that's pretty easy. You also have to actually make it to the end of the stage first. Because <laughs> Cream picks up the pace after a while. Yeah. 
faster than Airman. Look at my stream of chow. Like at this point, when I last checked this out, here's Cream. She's gonna just start grabbing them in front of me. So it's like, oh no, she might win. <laughs> but no, I got 18 this time. No. Everybody needs a toxic cave in their life. I also have X and B switched so that it's more like... I mean, positionally speaking, that would be... If they weren't switched, it would be just like... Um... It would be just like colors on an Xbox controller. I'm playing this on a GameCube controller because I can't be stopped. I didn't think I could lose to so losing something involving Chow. Good going, Mr. Sonic. Oh, who's our rival here? You're finally here, Sonic. I don't know where we are, nor do I care. That's where I finish you, Sonic. You weren't even at my birthday party. This is the biggest fan service right here. But I can't even be... I, like, there's no reason to be mad about it. It's, it's good the fan service. Except the moon is whole. Sure is shouting out there. Could it be? Could we have found a reason? Oh, I'm I'm positive that they invited Shadow to his birthday. Rouge was there, right? No, they probably would have invited Silver if they could send a message through time. Um, first off, this battle is you collect these energy orbs and then you get to destroy your enemy with it. It is a one-time thing. You do this once, you get the win from against Shadow. He does it once, it just makes it a really long time. But the moon is whole in the Sonic Adventure 2 area in Sonic Generation. Could it be this entire time we retconned the moon getting blasted with this event in Generations? Give me all those rings, buddy. I'm definitely taking, like, the whole implications of this game to a new level of scrutiny. Like, purposely because it's not supposed to be taken seriously like that. This is, like, 200% we're just doing an anniversary event for this series. This series that we have never cared to keep the narrative straight before. The Rouge is gonna try to blow me up. Look, it's like Starlight Zone! And also Hilltop, but we're in a city, so it's like Starlight Zone. Doesn't really do much. Now, one of the things that, like, is really highlighted to me playing classic Sonic right next to 
uh, not Classic Sonic in the same way that playing the DS version of Colors right next to the Wii version did, uh, is that they should have never replaced the roll and or spin dash with sliding. I don't know why they ever did that. That's the one thing Unleashed did wrong, because Rush still had that. I don't think this is a race, I think this is just an obstacle course. Not important. You're just hard. Oh, that sounded bad out of context. Aren't you a nimble one dodging my bombs? I'm game for a rematch anytime. Uh, we're not doing an SBO one because this one sucks. Uh, that's not the one I wanted to do, but it's the one I think I will do. You know, sometimes you have no, like, sign of uh, the animals otherwise. Just, like, nothing comes out of these robots for no apparent reason. I mean, in this stage, it would make sense. We've established that they had uh, weird DN drive inspired orbs coming out of them that leveled you up in the game. But it's not like we saw much coming out of anything beforehand, unless I wasn't paying too much attention. Oh my god. We gotta free these animals somehow. As for as inconsistent as they have been, every game after this... No, that's not even true. Horses is so fucking weird, it ruins everything I try to say. <laughs> Most of the games after this are going to heavily involve green animals. I think there's one up here. Aha! Great job. Insulting. More than that, I think need. Great. You know, back in my day, when Sonic was truly classic, and not just this classic Sonic, Spikes didn't have a hitbox outside of the actual Spike. I can't go back and get it. Recognize that music? Definitely get a hint to the boss. Now we get to see Chaos in his fully intended design. The real perfect Chaos Dragon. Is only partially water and otherwise solid. And now the banner I have on my Twitch makes sense. Though I did initially wait to even put it there until after we played Adventure. 
That's why he looks like that in the banner. No need for supersonic this time. We've got boost power. want to take the fast route, but it won't jump when I tell it to. <laughs> Actually, at the degree this is doing it, I might want to try and uh, switch to the other GameCube controller I found that is less used now. It was about the same amount of use as this was before I started streaming. <laughs> Chaos is winning this battle so far. Oh, yeah, it's more of a stage that you platform through. Ugh. Instead of just a circuit. This is the Open Your Heart Circuit Free Remix. Crush 40 versus... Wow. Alright, I hope that worked. The boost cut me off immediately. <laughs> if I didn't jump there, the camera would have just stayed. <laughs> Loose springboards. Get down there. We have no qualms with you anymore, Chaos. Time is just weird. Bring back chaos. Back quite a bit of this world. <laughs> Had to reload those earlier areas. You're doing great, Sonic. You mean you're doing great, Sonics? Right. I, I may never get used to that. But you already did get used to it in the future. Oh, come on. Please, stop being loud as all hell. That monster sure didn't like that emerald. Those things have come in handy in the past. We've already got a couple, but we need that emerald. Sonic! You should go over there and check it out! I bet you can bring that Chaos Emerald back, just like you brought back our friends! And I bet you double we're gonna need all seven emeralds! You guys have your work cut out for you! An adventure's no fun if it's too easy! Just like Eggman said last time. Now, I want to emphasize that when it gets extra loud like that, that's painful to my ears through my headphones. I do not like that happening. Like, that's how loud the difference is on my end. It's probably not quite as bad on your end, because it's lower volume. In general. But, um, altering the... everything. Alright. More repercussions of time. Here's a stage we've never seen on stream before. Because it's from Sonic 06. Just because it was erased from the timeline doesn't mean it never happened and can't be retrieved again. So here we are in Crisis City Future. With Iblis spawn all over the place. And 
right side. This remix slaps as hell. It is the slap. Jump. Fantastic jump. Love it. That's not why it happened. What, what, what am I supposed to do there? It's not a faster route if you have to wait for it, you know? Like... There, that's how the timing should be. Okay. I, you saw me go through that platform. You saw that clip. I'm not the only one. Christ. Man, it's being held to get better by... Pins. I forgot to sell it. Yeah, so you got the three main versions of Iblis spawn. Uh, basically, they're Zerglings, Hydralisks, and Mollusks from StarCraft. But, they're on fire. I guess more so they're beasts, worms, and birds, but I'm trying to make a bad joke. I could let speed dash on it. this last time in current colors. Uh, there are red rings in this. They do not do anything involving special stages or chaos emblems. They are just there for collection purposes. Literally, they, they unlock more stuff after a while. The infamous tornado segment. Uh, I just wanted the rings. There's a big irony in, like, restoring this area at all, because it is from a discontinued pocket of time entirely. Did I ever actually equip these skills? like the specifics of game feel with classic Sonic here compared to normal. Like, aside from the weirdness of the rolling and the spin dash. Uh, mm -hmm. mm, cool. <laughs> Most of the time hitting the enemies does feel pretty good. kind of automatically get that cool bounce off of it, as if you're holding down A. 
from the way that I said sometimes when it works in colors, it works. Um... The weirdest, like, it's not perfect, but the weirdest part is it works. Need for all my grapes with how it feels. Just remember that for, you know, later in the scene. <laughs> I'm not talking about Mania. We already did Mania. Mania controls way better than this. Uh, even if I'm not the biggest fan of how Sonic feels in the retro engine. Okay. This is not a bottomless pit. This is not a bottomless pit. <laughs> oh boy. Ah, the ending. We're almost there. What? Hey. It's that damn fire tornado causing trouble again. Carrying the truck. Please just go forward. Moving target. This is the part of level design that sucks, because like it feels like I can just like do a ramp and jump off that area there. And if it weren't 2.5 here, I would just go to this area right here, doing that jump. It would actually be a great fast segment. It's not. And who else are we going to put in this segment? Because she technically was there. She says something really weird later. About this place. I wish I hadn't needed your help, Sonic, but thank you. By the way, you seem to look less... spiky. I'll need to grow out those quills a little. Hmm... Sonic, I hope we can keep this slip-up of mine just between the two of us, alright? Ah, oh, you don't gotta be like that. It got everyone. Oh boy. Unleash time. So the two stages for this segment in, um... What do you call it? 3DS version are... Rush and Colors instead. Not even Colors... Not even Rush Adventure. They really minimized it to 7 so that you have a bonus stage for a Chaos Emerald per stage instead of having the whole bosses and rivals give you them. What the hell was that? Yeah, okay. I lost rings for the sake of invincibility. That makes sense. And the stage for Rush, which coincides with, um, Blaze, is Water Palace. Okay, sure. I feel like it doesn't really come into that much issue because of the way the actual game works until, like, the next stage. One of the things that's so off about 
classic Sonic in these stages is that they are so big compared to him. Like the slopes and the geometry as well. It's sort of it's sort of an issue that advanced games had to a degree. But in Green Hill it was actually jarring. I didn't like point it out immediately. It's especially weird in um, the next stage. And I'm being a little boy about it, saying. Good to see the Egg Fighters back, huh? Uh, earlier on, one might have noticed that they had all of the flags flying from the different nations that are in Unleashed. There's a bunch of balloons and confetti everywhere, too. It's like there's some kind of world fair happening right now. Which is cute. Bunch of air balloons. Of the hot variety. isn't it? I could not tell. Damage boost. I didn't finish a thought. It's probably happened like five times so far this week. Oh god, I keep doing that. It looks like places you should be able to just jump to. And then, whoopsie doodle, there's a springboard that leads you to basically a cutscene area of the stage. You can't access. Unless you hit it. That's a problem I have with the level design, I guess. There are, in that same sense, several areas could spin. Uh, there are several areas where you pretty much are... Control is wrested from you. You cannot... Do anything. And it's even, like, parts you wouldn't expect. Like, just... A time in the middle of the stage when you're in midair because of a spring or something or a booster. Why is that so loud? Unlock the everything. Egg lunch. Stage is good. Doesn't quite compare to the original for me. Did skip a lot of nonsense just now. We got hit by some nonsense. Alright. More nonsense. Love it. I swear that was a slide under situation. This is supposed to be easier to see who's coming. It's still RNG, but like. Taken from a part of 
Windmill Island. Okay. Windmill Island. Okay. But there's like very specific parts of this stage that were actually in Unleashed at one ex specific time. This stuff has colors though. Of course, there's plenty of parts that were directly in rooftop run, there. but they need to uh, remix a little, Just put in different places. This part from Jungle Joyride. The way it spews rings after you hit an upper box at it feels like a colors boss, <laughs> rather than anything from a leash. Huh. I didn't realize I didn't die that time. So next. Sonic. You know, I got a hunch someone or something is controlling that monster. Leave it to the leader of the Chaotix to deduce something. Hmm. Someone has to be behind all of this. We gotta take him out, Sonic. Actually curious what uh he says the classic Sonic there. I don't remember. Like I said, Planet Wisp here. Why was I being coy about it earlier? I said in Sonic Colors that Planet Wisp was the level in this. <laughs> I'm done. Whatever. Um, but like I said then, this may actually be a version of the stage that I prefer over any of the acts in Sonic Colors. Part of that is because there's this longer area that's in nature before you get to the base, or even the drunk here. I do think there's just some fun design in this part. It feels sort of original, in a way. Like, there's some light referencing to Sonic Colors level design. Mostly it just feels like another pack until you get to the part where that's in a way. Of course, maybe I'm not just parsing the parts that are lifted from the Sweet Mountain and Tropical Resort. Um, in the 3DS version, it's Tropical resort that is the trying to hit Z as if this was colors itself. Can I find the ceiling? No. Yeah, it's Tropical Resort in that one. Um, it has a similar gimmick in that to this that we'll see that each act has a different focus wisp that you get to use. For this, it's Rocket. For Classic, it's Spike, since he already has his Big Dash. Uh, those are the same ones that we're in. Are you moving? Are you what? This is stupid. I hate Bug Souls. They're the worst mechanic in these new games. 
I also kind of hate the spikes in this. There's something really weird about them. A rocket and spike were the two in the first act of Kyle's Tropical Resort gets Red Burst for Classic Sonic from the DS version, and then to match the Wii version, Modern Sonic gets a uh, laser. There's quite a bit of wisp representation. Less than... yeah, I find less than this stage referencing the whole of colors, like many other stages do with their respective games. This tries to incorporate all the different acts of... the original. That's part of why I said it's over... stays it's welcome. <laughs> I'm probably supposed to use Rocket there. Can I do something? Boost, trying to boost. As you do. What the hell was that? I hate this area of the stage. I thought I was already here. I guess I took the long way. Feels like that should have been the end of the stage, huh? this thing that's falling on you. Yes, the stages, right? Okay. This might actually be one of my least favorite stages. And 
quite sure isn't any easier to maneuver than this. It's weirder. <laughs> Did you see what just happened? Now that's another thing about the mechanics that I hate is you don't when you go up a ledge or like a, a sloped incline. You don't stay going against the wall. What the hell was that? Uh, once you are at the wall, you will be launched upwards. So you can't, like, do a wall jump. As you would in classic games. Like, this does sound like nitpicking when you get down to it, but if you're gonna force me to play as... What? Hey, what? Where am I? <laughs> what is this? Alright, cool. I guess. What was I saying? If you're gonna force me to play as classic Sonic for gimmicky reasons, you can at least let him feel like classic Sonic and not a new version of Sonic. Based off of, I don't know, nostalgia? Nostalgia has been the bane of my existence when it comes to Sonic games. Now, like, I had less to complain about when this first came out, for sure, because there was a novelty to it. As I said at the very beginning, the novelty has worn off because Classic Sonic has not gone away, and they continue to try and make Classic Sonic a separate entity from Modern Sonic, which I hate. They are the same person, they have the same personality. I will admit that this game, in sort of colors, the personalities feel a little weird. That's not Sonic's fault. Not like he's a different person. Not like this. Classic Sonic shouldn't be saying the same nonsense. Classic Tails is. But it does get worse. This is probably the best Classic Sonic as a separate entity will ever be. <laughs> Unless you consider Mania Sonic a separate entity. I don't know how to really parse that at this point. Alright, so that was completely contrary to what I said earlier about if you go up a wall, you get launched off. I didn't get launched off there at all. What the hell happened? That was great, I will say. I was able to cheese it in a way that you should not be able to cheese it. I guess perhaps that's why they designed it to do the way that I normally said. Because they didn't exactly, like, fix the spin dash in that case. You can just do it whenever.
Oh, yeah, there's an empire puzzle here. Alright, which direction? Come on, make up your mind. By that direction. Please, please stop. Holy hell. Why will we'll stop? So long, and so much of it is just spikes. Spikes are supposed to be a fast shortcut. Ooh. set of keys, one more boss, and we have a final boss, and we're good. This isn't even going to take three hours. Dude, there's the emerald! Dude. Actually, I feel like... Roger Craig Smith made of like dipped back into the cartoon classic Sonic. Pretty slick move, huh? For more of his stuff. So, if anything, these two Sonics are more personality alike than ever. That Here's our free beef. Scary, but being with you makes it all better. Yeah. Hey, you look different. Cutscene got. Misaligned. That's weird. Hmm. Yeah, where'd the party go? Oh, okay, it's so way up to the stuff. And then we might as well start with the rival battle. I think the blaze might be. Alright, Silver. Sonic, is that really you? Or are you some kind of fake sent for the Chaos Emerald? Hmm, interesting assumption. I'm gonna change his dialogue entirely. Um, Sonic, why are we in Ifrit's realm? What did you do? And then he attacks. Because, you know, Silver doesn't recognize this place at all. He does not know where we are. The closest this place looks to him is the Chaotic Inferno Zone. He does not know what Crisis City is. He's never lived that. Even though it's the future that he's from in the sense. This Silver does not know that. He's still a very fun boss fight. And, I mean, the way that Silver's been acting this game and the previous one, Perhaps a rival battle doesn't make sense. They try to justify it by being like, Hey Sonic, it'll be fun. Um, there was a part of me that wanted to... ...twist it so that it could have been a Blaze rival battle instead. But after the way... 
Bilbo's been. Aside from where he's randomly friendly to Sonic, he's much more of a rival than a friend. I wonder if I can use that to get him. Not just the big one. I messed up last time. Jump! Alright. It wasn't me that messed that one up. Just whatever the hell happened there. Give up. That was only the third. Got another 2D second. Give up! Something about the impact sound effect when you hit silver. It was the same one when you hit um Shadow. Meteor Smash! Hmm, Meteor Smash. Oof. I don't feel that afterwards. The rival battles might be the best part of this game. Yeah, see, this should be fun. Let's go, Sonic, and you want to challenge him again. I'm gonna hang out with Blaze. Naturally, we're gonna hang out with Blaze. Call me with the Y button. This is song is based on the Saturn ending theme, 3D Blast. Stage direction of this area is really weird. I'd still summon her after it was over. I never thought I'd find myself in Crisis City again. This world is full of surprises. Hmm. Crisis City, where you've never been to in this timeline. This world is full of surprises, huh? Sorry, 
So remember when I was talking about, like... What if Blaze did get sent to the future chasing Eggman Mega during that time where she lost track of Eggman Mega because he didn't exist and she got caught in that bad future? Please come back. I do this one. The jump. It actually jumped up into it. Like... Well, where did she go then? I was following her. says anything to that. Oh, I know. I wanted the... Mm. Country Panic? Don't mind if I do. Where's the key for this one? Mine's getting shorter is one thing, but turning pink? What did you eat, Sonic? <laughs> okay, that's fine. Let's do the vector one. We can find it. We can access anything. Reversing the white space can be tedious. is loud. Fuck you, stupid piece of shit. <laughs> Fucking cheated by game mechanics. I did this in one go. Now it's like the first time I ever played it. Oh, 
I guess I'm not doing it again. Like, what the hell is this? I can just cut this entire part out from the VOD. What else am I gonna do? Endless boost, that's always good. Yeah, it's gonna be endless boost. Try going. The rings didn't count? Why are the rings there? If it's endless boost and they don't add to your amount, why are they there? There is zero reason. This game is stupid sometimes. In ways that I can't predict. bosses out of the way since we did this properly enough to get make this be our last demo. It's definitely gonna be Eggman. But didn't Eggman get carried away? This boss asks, what if the Egg Dragoon was twice the size it originally was? and had a separable bottom that basically is the Egg Wyvern without a head. And also, mostly just did the ice attack? <laughs> I still prefer the Wolfhog version. Am I just close enough? He's not stuck on this plane as I am. The only reason I can't hit. Breaking the rules of engagement that we established in Sonic 1. You're gonna be unaccessible, you have to be out of bounds. Not from a different perspective. to say to this. Like I said, the, um, this boss in the 3DS one was the Egg Emperor, and it is the coolest the Egg Emperor has ever loved. Uh, it was a fantastic remix of the Sonic Heroes final boss theme. Why? Hey, 
game? What the fuck is going on today? I get that I'm on stream, but you're just being a piece of shit. He has a fire move? Okay. Okay. Fuck you. Just, like, stop being a shit. Man. You don't need this. What hit me? Way too long for what it's worth. So, like, I would much rather be playing the Egg Emperor battle, which is a good and fun battle. Which is, it sucks for me to say that because I do love the Egg Dragon quite a bit. It's just. You're not even the same Sonic you were when you fought that. Part of it is that this remix isn't even better. It's kind of lacking. It doesn't have the impact that the original did. So I was definitely able to just, like, air dive away from this entire segment the first time. So I don't know why I got screwed over last time. I mean, like, half the rounds that I should have. Got a second one before segment changed again. What is the... Why are we facing this direction, game? Stop breaking on me. It's getting really frustrating. You're a parallel attack. boss really shows an issue that I have with the final boss, it's that you can't feel your progress. It's just, this keeps on going until it stops going. I can't believe this! I was supposed to beat you this time! Ah, uh, I'm sorry. I didn't get that memo. I beat you every time! No, seriously. We beat this guy every time. It's like it's our job or something. What's Eggman even doing here? I thought you said he'd been kidnapped by that big weird thing that sent us all to this place. I mean, there's a simple explanation for that based on these characters right here. But why ruin the exposure that's about to happen?
We just have this long segment where we have to fix the cogs of time using the Chaos Emeralds. Naturally, like, what else would they be for? Emerald. Hello. Man, sir. Morganite. Mashish. Stop, please. I don't want to have to wait any longer than I'm going to have to. Heliodor. It's like... Oh, I can actually make this jump. Aquamarine. Might as well wait for this one. Too risky to jump there. Oceanite. Now we have to let this whole thing light up. It is nice that the emeralds plug in like that so it's closer to their original representation in one two and three before getting the super emeralds. Okay. Now we'll get to the boss that I really wish we were doing on the 3DS version. Excuse me? Okay, whatever you are, if you want to avoid, Sound avoid an embarrassing beatdown, you better give up. up now. You're not in a just trying to make it not sound position right. to demand anything, you nasty little pincushion. Eggman, but how? He had a little help, Dr. Robotnik. Nobody calls me that anymore. If you would be so kind as to explain, gentleman genius Dr. Eggman from the future. It will be my pleasure, most excellent and efficacious Dr. Eggman of the past. After my most recent setback, I stumbled upon the primordial form of this unique creation. Which I discovered had amazing abilities even I have never been able to master. You haven't been able to master it anything. It could erase time and space. Like the I then had the brilliant too. idea to use my discovery to undo my previous defeats. And just left Orbot and Cubot there. In order to perfect it, I needed the help of somebody as smart as I am. The only person that smart is me. Oh, you are too kind, my dear future self. And I was happy to help. I captured your friends, flinging them through time to bait my traps. But the more your monster tears through time, the more damage you do to the world. The world? I'm going to own the world when I'm finished with Sonic! <laughs> wow, will I really get that crazy? <laughs> we'll see who's crazy after I destroy both Sonics. Forever. You mean, after we destroy them? Less arguing, more destroying. Destroy me? You and what mustache? I beat you all the time by myself, and now there's two of me. Then I'll have twice as much fun defeating you. Oh no.
That was just to soften you up. Now it's time to meet your doom. Do it, Sonic! Come on, Sonic! Smack him! Ugh, not you! You've got this, Sonic. You can win, Sonic. Who are they? <laughs> they are insignificant. You've got the power, Sonic. Focus your spirit. We're with you guys. I believe in you, Sonic. Don't give in, Sonic. I know you can do this, Sonic. You can win, Sonic. You always do. There are about equal amount characters that classic Eggman would recognize as there is wooden. Time to scramble some Eggman, Super Sonic style. Yeah. That Sonic One, uh, so Sonic Four theme. I had to adjust the sound back. I had to adjust it so much during that cutscene. I swear to all things, if I find like a mod to fix this cutscene issues that I did not know they had. Another example of just a boss for you. You just let it happen, and once it happens, it happens. Every character. Is speaking. Every character wants you to know there's a homing shot. And running low on wins, that's weird. I have no business hitting me. I cannot stress enough that how the 3DS one just has like actual mechanics. And it's not just I'm holding the boost button until it works. What is he doing? Why did it spin? Plus. Big plus. The 3D on the 3DS. Like For the, the Time Eater shot. battle, there is not a single part, a single game in the entire 3DS library that works as well as that does. It is the most perfect 3D I've ever experienced on the 3DS. Like the most effective 3D. Yeah, sure are, Charmy. Like, I actually... Why did I go all the way back here to do that? Uh, one of the things I was doing instead of playing more of this game, because I didn't want to, I was, I was, I was, I got a mod for Sonic Adventure 2 that actually fixes the sound balancing in that. you remember was less a matter of it just getting loud randomly and quiet other times and more a matter of not being able to hear the actual cutscenes over the uh, <laughs> music or sound effects. So like, easy to imagine there's one of those for this too. Because I did not know the cutscenes were this messed up.
everyone at once said, now go for it. Uh, best fucking fake out in the world with this, because you, you may have heard that when I first pressed left and right buttons, it did the from Live and Learn, and then it went into the Sonic 4 supersonic theme. <laughs> Biggest fake out. Still warm. <laughs> Time travel. Okay. Oh, now Silver and Shadow are at the party. I'll admit, you weren't half bad, Sonic. Half bad? Are you kidding? He was all great. Somebody put all those gold rings. Yeah. You know what? I don't know. I keep forgetting to ask. <laughs> That's not what it says in the Japanese. It was great teaming up with you. Hope you learned a few tricks that'll help you out in the future. I mean, the past. It, you know what I mean. Sweet! And you're only gonna get better! There's our ride! Hey, Sonic! Enjoy your future! It's gonna be great! But that egg don't quit. Also, your future is not going to involve dying and being kissed by a human. Because that never happens. Even if we saw a hint of the world that is caused by that. Now, the 3DS um, cutscenes are slightly different because they do an improvement to the classic Sonic gameplay in that a little. I call it, I consider it an improvement. I think you can unlock it in this, but. Um, between Mushroom Hill and Emerald Coast, you get a cutscene where that's where Sonic, classic Sonic, tries to imitate the homing attack. And he actually succeeds in that, so you get the equipable homing attack. I don't think it's even just equipable, it might be. I don't remember how equipment works in that. But the following levels for classic Sonic incorporate the homing attack mechanic. Uh, kinda not dissimilar to Sonic 4, actually. Um, and I prefer that to most of them in this. Which is a... So, excluding Mania, because they're forcing that into its own timeline, but that can't be done with this game. This game is too... Despite, like, what time shenanigans mean, they've incorporated this too much into the game this Sonic, classic Sonic, and not an upbeat dimension Sonic, which makes some of the writing in Forces even stupider. Um, this is the... This Sonic is between CD and 4, so it will be the time when he learns how to use the uh, homing attack, even if he's not that good at it. Um, before separating Mania, that could be an excuse to why he focuses on the drop dash instead of the homing attack. In that. Aside from the fact that Mania is half built as a replacement for four. Uh, also, the part where um, where Tails and Tails are talking about things. Uh, yeah, we have this confusion ongoing about how solid the rings are, sure. Well, that's not even what they say in the Japanese one. They're talking about the tornado. And Classic Tales is saying... Um... I mean, they're, they're talking about, I'm assuming, tornadoes throughout the ages that Tales built. And, which is kind of weird when you think of it. They're not talking about the tornado though, because Tails, Classic Tails is asking, Why did you put such big legs on it? What did you do to t Sonic's tornado? And Tails is like, I guess I got a little bit out of hand. 
think the only tornado that had legs on it was the cyclone. Which is the tornado crew. Which is not the tornado. Sonic's tornado. <laughs> That's Tails' second tornado. Um, so, I guess Tails doesn't have the heart to tell Tails that that bitch gets destroyed. <laughs> Perhaps that's the reason that Tails decides the next tornado he's going to build is the classic tornado. He's just going to straight up rebuild Sonic, a tornado, and not try to number it like his tornado go. I guess the Tornado 2 still exists, so he could just show him. No, that's the Tornado 3, that's a spaceship. So, this conversation's about history. That Tails was telling Tails about. <laughs> I don't know. We've got some history to go over with Tails that I'm probably going to wait until between the two forces streams. Because uh, the more familiar I become with it, the more I want to actually play for us Tails Adventure. Because there is a continuity, like, one of the established continuities is that it takes place as a sequel to the Genesis games and not a prequel. Of course, if it's a prequel, taking it at face value, we have to put it in the Game Gear continuity, which aren't the Genesis games at all. <laughs> okay, look here. This is the only Sonic 06 gameplay you will see on this stream. I don't know about you guys, because you've only been... That, that player died there. They did not recover. I can tell just by looking at it. I can feel how bad this play is. This isn't even a complete stage. The only complete stage in the game is Kingdom Now. This is Crisis City. This is just... I promise you these high-speed segments here feel even worse than anything that you saw before. The physics is disgusting. That's all I'll say about that. Back to the good stuff here. <laughs> um, there is a cutscene after all of this, which is why I... Luckily I had some stuff to talk about here. I'm letting it play through. It also seems to be slightly on the louder side. That's the thing, like, I I came back to this game and I'm just, after Colors, I was genuinely thinking, I was almost concerned because so, for so long I thought otherwise that I might like this game more than Colors, because I was kind of underwhelmed with Colors coming back to it. I always get hit there too by those lasers. I didn't on screen, but confused the hell out of me. Because, like I said at the beginning, this does tend to the me most of the 3D mechanic issues that I have with Sonic Colors. It doesn't quite tend to the 2D mechanic issues. It doesn't have the weird jump anymore. But it does almost feel like I should still have the double jump. Because the general platforming is just weird. It... Again, again, like, Unleashed it felt like you went where you expected to go. There was no issue with that. If you're not going fast as Modern Sonic, it feels weird. To me, at least. Uh, and Classic Sonic I just don't like. Again, it's showing more 06 stuff as if it matters. This is so weird, like, this game tries to legitimize that, and it, it's just not. A good, I'm not a game worth that. Happy Sonic Day. Hopefully this cutscene isn't weirdly <laughs> volumed. Are you sure you saw a door over here? What? You were the one who said you saw a door over here. Well, I know it was one of us. Shut up and keep looking. 
The difference between classic and modern Eggman really leaves some questions to be asked. Like, why would he look this different when he's older? How young... The modern Eggman looks younger. Like, how am I... What time is it? It's the exact same time as when you asked earlier, and it'll be the exact same time when you ask later. There is no time here! Let me just say that this was a brilliant plan that you came up with. Don't get too self-righteous. It'll be your plan pretty soon. I'm gonna dedicate the rest of my life to forgetting it. I heard that! Do we ever win? That depends on your definition of win. Beating Sonic! Oh. Well then, no. Only when we team up with Sonic. That doesn't give me much hope. Maybe I'll go back and get my teaching degree. That's not a bad idea. I've always enjoyed telling people what to do. Cool. There we go. That's all. Um... I mean, I know we have time to, but I kind of don't feel like it. I was thinking I would just, like, play some pinball. That's not the one I wanted you to play. But I don't think I have anything else to talk about. Because I had so much time to talk about stuff during the credits. <laughs> this tropical resort act 2 sounds more like an act 3 to me. It's just by Tomino Otani again. It's great. Anyway, next week, um... It'll be Sonic Lost World we'll be playing. 